If we think of our solar system as typical of billions and billions of other similar systems, then where are the extraterrestrials? Intelligent life should be present everywhere in the universe by now. Advanced civilizations would have created some kind of signal which is very easy to detect. Yet, we have no evidence of alien civilizations. The unsettling silence of space has a possible solution, and it may be the most chilling answer to why we haven't heard from anyone. And if an alien civilization really exists somewhere out there, and if they know that we are here, then it is something that should scare all of us. You all may have heard the term Fermi paradox. But what does it actually mean? This term simply asks the question, if intelligent civilization is common in the universe, then where is everybody? Enrico Fermi was a physicist, and created the world's first prototype nuclear reactor. He never really mentioned much about extraterrestrials. One day, Fermi was chatting with his colleagues at a lunch, about a cartoon showing aliens emerging from a flying saucer. That's when Fermi asked the question, where is everybody? He was referring to the fact that, there wasn't any evidence of alien visiting our beautiful blue planet. Their conversation then moved to the topic of interstellar travel. Fermi stated that, interstellar travel might not be possible. He thought, a technological civilization doesn't survive long enough to invent interstellar travel. Fermi was saying this in 1950, when rockets hadn't yet reached Earth's orbit. The Fermi paradox, which questions the presence of advanced civilizations, actually misrepresents Fermi's views. Fermi never questioned the possibility of alien civilizations. He only doubted their ability to have interstellar travel. In 1975, astronomer Michael Hart wrote an article in which he said they are not here, therefore they do not exist. Hart claimed that if smart aliens ever existed, they would inevitably colonize the Milky Way. He believed that if they were anywhere, they would be here by now. But since they aren't here, and we haven't seen any signs of aliens, it means that humans are the only intelligent life in our galaxy. If that is the case, then searching for alien life elsewhere is probably a waste of time. But another famous physicist Frank Teipler elaborated on Hart's work and asked a big question, where would a civilization get all the resources needed to colonize a whole galaxy? He came up with an idea where a civilization could build an artificially intelligent machine that is comparable to the current human level, that could replicate itself. They just need to send one of these to a neighboring star system and program it to replicate using local materials present in that system. And repeating this process they can colonize the entire galaxy with these self-replicating machines. Teipler also said that since we haven't seen any of these machines, it means that we're the only intelligent life in the Milky Way galaxy. Now we have no idea how many advanced alien civilizations might be out there, that could pull off such a feat. But scientist Frank Drake gave us an equation, that gives a rough estimate of the number of civilizations in our galaxy, that might have signals we could detect. And those civilizations could exist in thousands. Many unique solutions to the Fermi paradox have been given over the years. One solution to the this paradox might be the scariest of them all. It's the dark forest theory, given by Chinese science fiction writer Liu Cixin. According to this solution, imagine the universe as a vast dark forest, and us humans, along with other advanced civilizations out there, are the hunters. The hunter doesn't light a torch as it will draw attention to himself. It might be harmless to be noticed, but it could bring the jaws of a hungry predator, or even get the attention of another competing hunter. Now, we don't have access to interstellar travel yet. But, it is possible with technologies and equipment that's already available. We've done a lot more than just send out some radio signals to the outer space. In fact, we've done everything but be silent, from sending messages and spacecraft out into space, to unintentionally sending out radio and TV signals which leak into space. The Voyager probes are already out of the solar system, and if there is an intelligent civilization somewhere, they could be handing coordinates of our solar system to the aliens. These two probes basically carry all of humanity with them. Now that could be a very interesting and scary incident. That said, we have done more than lit the torch in the dark forest. The next question is who, or what will get attracted our signal? And this should literally make everyone afraid. Science fiction writer Arthur C. Clarke mentioned two possibilities that exist, either we are alone in this universe or we are not. And both are equally terrifying. We should keep in mind that it's impossible to know the intentions of an extraterrestrial civilization, if one was ever found. It also could be possible that some alien civilization could have studied us and decided to leave us alone, due to our destructive nature. Or we could end up being lucky, and an advanced civilization would help us reach the stars and become an interplanetary species, by sharing their technology with us. But we need to be very realistic at this moment, and ask ourselves why would another civilization help us to achieve such things. They might be scared to death of what we would do to them if they were discovered. On the other hand, it might be best to shoot first and ask questions later, 
to avoid being wiped out by the other civilization. Nobody knows what would happen in a first meeting. It's obvious that if a civilization has accessed interstellar travel, their weapons technology is also far more advanced than us. That's what the dark forest theory is. It's possible that all other civilizations have chosen to remain silent for fear of being destroyed. But the scariest thing about all of this is that now we can do nothing about it. We've just been too noisy and it's too late. There may be many different extraterrestrial civilizations out there that know we exist. An intelligent civilization out there that has discovered Earth might not see us as a threat to them, since we haven't reached a technological level for interstellar space travel. However, it would be really hard for another advanced civilization to stop accidentally sending out radio signals into space like we do. And if they are more advanced and use another form of communication that humans cannot understand, this brings a possibility as to why we don't see or hear anything from space. And maybe there really isn't anyone out there. It's very hard to believe since 40 billion Earth-sized planets are inhabitable zones. Although the universe is teeming with hospitable planets, it's not certain that they'll stay way long enough for life to evolve. According to a study from Australia National University, wet and rocky planets like Earth are very unstable when they are first formed. If any kind of life hopes to evolve and thrive on a terrain planet, there is a very limited time of just a few million years to get everything moving. We can think about our own planet and all that events it's been through. The chances for life to get evolved on an initially wet, rocky planet in the habitable zone is extremely complicated. If habitable environments aren't stable, during the first billion years, the chances of life to evolve are almost negligible. We also know that the universe is a deadly place. A supernova, a gamma-ray burst, a solar flare, or a huge asteroid can wipe out an entire planet with life. It might be hard to accept that we are the only intelligent life in the Milky Way, or perhaps the entire universe. Other civilizations have come and are now long gone, and maybe we're the last ones left in the universe. We can't really say that aliens exist or not. Because no one knows if travel between star systems is possible in the first place. The Central Intelligence Agency declassified thousands of UFO documents recently, and there was not enough evidence to conclude about the aliens. Maybe extraterrestrials are between us, and we just don't know about them. Regardless of whether we have or haven't been visited by extraterrestrials, UFO experts say that we are closer than ever to find the existence of alien life. So what do you think about it? Do you really think we'll find evidence of life in the outer systems, and should we keep searching for aliens? Let me know about your views in the comments and make sure to stay tuned. Get to know about all the amazing things that are happening in our universe by subscribing. Thank you for watching.